In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, for us to be worthy to partake in this Holy Eucharist before God and His Church, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in, our, in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, and they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I point I pointed out to them, making for themselves a mortal car and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is our God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff meek this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them, then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong at hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent, he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains? and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down, relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promise, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment, and he had threatened to inflict on his people the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you have favored your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our Father made the calf in Oreb, and adored the molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of grass eating banak. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them and had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses has chosen one, with stone him in the bridge to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand there. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son 
so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he keeps on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John and he testified to the truth. And I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you don't have his word remaining in you, because you don't believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the face that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote, about me. But if you not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapayapaan po at pawang kabutihan sa inyo lahat, mga kapatid, mga katulad ko ng mga pilgrims, mga deboto ng ating mal na ina ng Birhen ng Manawag. Welcome po sa ating lahat dito sa Minor Basilica of the Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Ganon din po sa lahat ng mga nakikiisa sa pagdiriwang ng banal na misang ito sa pamamagitan ng ating live streaming. Mga kapatid, mayroon pong kasabihan like father, like son. Or minsan, kapag nakikita natin ang isang bata, ang kanyang galaw, ang kanyang mannerisms, ang kanyang mga actuations, ay parang kamukha ng tatay ng bata. We will always say, ay kagaya siya ng tatay niya. Kamukha siya ng tatay niya. Para silang pinagbiyak ng tatay niya. Like father, like son. Kapag ang isang bata malikot, sasabihin ng lola, nung ang tatay mo ganyan din malikot. Kapag ang bata matalino, sasabihin, ganyan din ang tatay mo nung bata. Matalino, matano, mahilig, manaliksik. Like father, like son. Sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, mga kapatid, matingkad na sinasabi ni Jesus at muli ipinapaunawa sa ating lahat. Ang kanyang mga salita, ay hindi salita na galing sa Kanya, bagkus mga salita ng Ama. The words of Jesus are not simply His own words, but rather, they are the words of the Father. Jesus speaks forgiveness, 
because they are the words of the Father. Jesus speaks about mercy because the Father speaks of mercy. Jesus speaks about forgiveness, reconciliation, because the Father speaks and teaches about forgiveness and reconciliation. Ang sabi sa Ibanghelyo, ang aking mga gawa ay gawa ng aking ama at nagpapatunay na kung saan at sino ako. The works, the actions, the miracles, the actuations of Jesus are not His. They are actions. They are miracles. They are the fulfillment of the will of the Father. Jesus simply obeyed His Father. Jesus simply followed His Father. The works, the words, the actions of Jesus are the works, are the words and actions of His Father. Second, mga kapatid, this also brings us to the reality. If Jesus has this Father, we also have the same Father. Remember, our catechesis says, we are all created in the image and likeness of God. Our heart is enveloped with love, with forgiveness, with reconciliation, not with hatred, not with anger, not with grudges, because we are the Son of God created. We are children of God, rather, created in His own image. Therefore, my dear friends, my dear sisters and brothers, let us ask the Lord to the prayers of Our Lady of Manawag, Apu Bakit, to continue to inspire us, to give us the grace that we may always live our vocation as children of God, doing, saying, the works, the, the actions of the Father, and doing the same thing because we are His children now and forever. Amen. Please stand. My dear friends, too often we stray from the Lord's ways. Let us ask Him for the strength to live lives of faith, and we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that Christians everywhere may be for fear bent, and prayer during this Lenten season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That unbelievers may listen to God's word and be brought to salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That pre present uncertainties, in the church may be resolved by an increase of faith let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the poor the sick the handicapped may see god's presence in their lives by the support of their families and friends let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the dead may reach may reach their an eternal home with the with the help of our prayers let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My dear friends, in a few moments of silence, let us also pray and remember the members of our loved ones, our families, our relatives, or even our friends who ask for our prayers, those who are not with us in these Holy Eucharist, that through the prayers and help of Abu Bakit, the Our Lady of Mana Rosary of the Manawag, that the good Lord may bestow to each one of us and to them in the same manner the blessings and the graces of this Holy Eucharist. Father, enlighten us through the Holy Spirit that we may openly profess our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him, the angels, praise Your Majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pay by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with saints Francis and Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand then. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, together we pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously want her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you, Paul. Peace with you, Paul. Peace with you, Paul. Peace with you, Paul. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Peace near. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray the Oracio Imperata. Let us turn to St. Joseph, who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick to help us in our needs. Let us say together, St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you saved the Savior from death in the hands of Herod. Save the world from the death of COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered to see the child and his mother born in poverty in a manger. Stay with us as we endure our causes of hunger, joblessness, and sickness due to COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary, that her heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless our efforts to end the pandemic through the vaccination program and observance of health protocols, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brethren who are sick and dying, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and depression into hope, joy, and peace, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. St. Joseph, come to our aid in these times of anguish and anxiety. Take us under your care as we place our trust in you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. The Vinam Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or fb page facebook.com slash minor basilica manawag official thank you please stand the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you and your love funds the father and the son and the holy spirit amen Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We pray the prayer for the blessing of the sick. We remember those who are sick and those who are suffering from different illnesses. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of our lady of the rosary of manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your name we ask this through christ our lord amen we also pray 
the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other articles that you are bringing at this very moment. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.